This video shows the combination of Helon and Helon 5 for routine cases, or as I like to call it, the Visco Fastball. What you're seeing on the screen is Helon 5 going into the eye. It tends to compress centrally and be quite smooth and has some irregularities peripherally. You see these noted by the arrow. When we inject the Helon into the anterior chamber to create another soft shell technique, you'll notice that the uh, irregularities peripherally smooth out and we create a relatively smooth undersurface for the viscoelastic. The anterior chamber is quite stable, making the main incision. The combination of two cohesive viscoelastics creates a slightly different environment inside the eye to do a capsulotomy. The learning curve is relatively short, but you must be prepared to make an adjustment if you're used to using a dispersive as well as a cohesive while making the capsulotomy. The key to using Helon and Helon 5 as a fastball is this. You need to do most of your FACO inside of the capture bag because the undersurface of the Helon 5 is very sensitive to disruption if you bring pieces up the anterior chamber. Deep coring of the nucleus is done here along with uh, cracking. Once this is done, the uh, pieces are brought up in the anterior chamber very carefully and you can see a very nice bounce in the area illustrated by these arrows. This indicates that the Helon 5 is being rapidly evacuated from the chamber. second bounce is seen with the second piece. Essentially all of the Helon 5 is now out of the chamber. So this fastball technique works extremely well if you're an efficient surgeon. It decreases the amount of cleanup time that you have. It decreases the amount of post-op pressure spikes you have. But you also have a decreased amount of time inside the eye when you can comfortably work and not cause damage to the endothelium. As you can see, there's an exquisite detail inside of the eye because of lack of viscoelastic during the irrigation aspiration. I especially like this soft shell technique of Helon and Helon 5 when I'm using the Acrosoft Torque Lens. The Torque Lens requires complete evacuation of the viscoelastic to make sure it's stabilized inside the eye. If you use two cohesive viscoelastics, the viscoelastic tends to come out of the eye much more completely and thoroughly, as you can see here. And I tend to get a more stable IOL and a more stable positioning of my toric axis. You can also see how much detail there is present in the edge of the IOL, the edge of the capsulotomy, and the overall clarity. One of the things that's quite remarkable when you use a Helon Helon 5 technique is how optically clear the anterior chamber is immediately after the surgery and the first day post-op.